Hey Aquarius, this is your read. So I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I have this deck of fortune cards. Uh, I'm going to use these just at the beginning. I'm going to shuffle them until one falls out. And that card is going to set the tone for our read. Uh, so we'll see what, what the universe is going to be talking about today for Aquarius. So universe, what is the energy going to be for this read? And I feel like she's starting to jump cards around. So we're getting close to an answer here. What is our energy for today, universe, for Aquarius? And I can feel them all starting to fall out of my hands. Uh, so I'm going to grab one here. So we have Phoenix. So be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. So I feel like we're going to be speaking about, about change, about renewal, about healing as well. Alrighty, so universe, I can just carry on with this read. Speak to Aquarius, what messages do you have today? Oh, and we got, we got a couple here, so let's see what she's got. So we have Beyond the Ordinary, Feeling the World, The Power of Purpose, Exposed and Revealed, and a Grand Symphony. I feel like we're speaking about about an amazing change in your life. I don't feel like this is just going to be getting your feet back under you. I feel like this is going to be a huge um, life-changing path for you with that a grand symphony beyond the ordinary. I feel like Exposed and Revealed is definitely speaking about uh, personal truths, about healing. I feel like that feeling the world, your emotions are very raw right now. So there's a lot of healing that is going to have to be done. But I feel like within this, you're going to find your purpose. You're going to find your passion, your fire for life again. I think you're going to do something absolutely extraordinary. I have Time Machine, A Merry Motive, Sacred Reverence, Broken Open, and Tender Embrace. So that Broken Open is definitely tying into... Tying into the soul searching, tying into dealing with dealing with hurt, dealing with loss. I feel like we might be talking about a relationship that came to an end as well. A time machine uh, speaks of learning lessons from the past as well. And a merry motive, I feel like it's tied into purpose. Finding a new purpose in life. Again, maybe right now you're feeling a bit lost. I'm going to pull some more cards here. We'll just, we'll keep working and clarifying this read. Yeah, I think we, we had a relationship that came to an end here. I have the lover's card and I feel it definitely tied in uh, to some of these other cards. The two of swords uh, can represent feeling deadlocked, having trouble choosing a path, finding clarity in a situation. I feel like it's tying into your emotions right now, into your heart. I feel like you definitely have a broken heart right now. The queen of cups to me is symbolic of emotions. I feel like she's speaking to the emotional upheaval that you're feeling right now, but I also feel a duality in her because I feel like she speaks to the healing that will happen, to the great emotional potential and healing um, when you're able to, to process everything that you've gone through and to start healing from that. The Three of Wands represents a positive forward movement and moving in a positive way and overcoming obstacles on your journey. The Page of Wands represents good news on the way. And I feel like it's coming from within this good news. I feel like a lot of this is about you healing and finding purpose again in your life. Finding a new passion. Finding a fire. I feel like it was quite a toxic relationship. I feel like it also might have been a marriage because I have the King of Cups and we started with the Queen of Cups. So usually when I get a King and Queen in the same suit, it does speak to, to a committed relationship. But I don't have nice, nice cards around this King of Cups. I feel like you were trying to build a future with this person. You're trying to set down roots. You're trying to uh, maybe get married, have a family. Uh, this was somebody you were trying to Plan the rest of your life with, but I don't feel that they were putting in uh, the same amount. As I have the devil card here. The devil card represents a manipulative and destructive force 
in your life. I feel like it's tied into this king. The seven of wands uh, represents having to stand your ground, uh, draw your line in the sand, take back control. So I feel like this was something you had to do with this person. I feel like they were quite toxic. Maybe even abusive. Definitely moody though. Um, the hanging man represents the only thing that could possibly hold you back from success is you. And I feel like, I feel like this is speaking to staying in a toxic relationship. To allowing that to continue was the thing that would have held you back from success. It would have held you back from happiness that you were not going to find this abundant harvest with this king of cups. Uh, this was not a healthy person. This is not somebody um, that you were meant to have in your life for a long period of time. I have the tower card, which represents a sudden ending. Um, sometimes it can be unexpected. I don't think it was unexpected. I've, I have a feeling that this was something that you had to choose for yourself to walk away from this toxic energy. I feel like it was dragging you down. I have the Fool card. The Fool card represents seeing things in a new light. I feel like it's speaking of a shift of perspective. It's tied into that time machine. Uh, maybe learning lessons is tied into the motive as well. I feel like I feel like it's a clarity that's going to come by examining your inner truths as well. The Two of Pentacles represents balance. I feel like you are now moving in a direction to find balance in your life. I feel like this person, this person was all about unbalanced. This person was very unhealthy to be around this King of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles speaks of wealth. She speaks of success. She speaks of generosity, of caring, and of kindness. I, I feel like she's speaking to you. I feel like she's speaking to some of your core values of who you are as a person. I also feel like she's speaking to this journey that you're on and the greatness that you're going to achieve, the level of success. The Page of Cups uh, represents good news on the way, and Cups is all about emotions. So I feel like I feel like it's speaking that to this soul searching, to this healing, to these personal truths, to learning from the situation. Um, the good news that's coming is healing, is happiness, is is maybe insight as well, and clarity that helps you to move forward. I have the Five of Swords, which represents selfish or short one victories, victories at the cost of others. So somebody winning and somebody losing. And I felt like, I feel like it ties into this relationship that you had with this king as well. And that you gave and gave and gave and, and they didn't give back and it left you feeling like they won and you lost. Feel like the chariot card is encouraging you to move beyond that, to move past that, uh, to learn from that as well um, tying into the uh, the time machine and learning lessons uh, to not allow yourself get to get lost in relationships like that to make sure that there is an even give and take she speaks of perseverance positive forward movement moving in a positive direction forward the moon card represents things that are still unknown and i feel like it's speaking to a level of insight that you're going to gain through healing from this relationship i feel like it also speaks to this this future that you're heading in, this great symphony, this, this wonderful new purpose that you're going to be able to find. The Four of Wands represents setting down a solid foundation for a happy future and a happy home life. The Knight of Swords speaks of triumphing truth and clarity. I feel like this insight and this purpose is going to bring change in your life. I feel like it's going to bring a massive amount of change and just like the Phoenix is going to bring an amazing change for you. Uh, something that you probably right now at this point in time can't even imagine but I feel like looking back uh, you'll be able to see how every little decision that you made and how everything that happened, all the events that played out actually led you uh, to your new beautiful future. The Ten of Swords represents a disappointing ending but one that was beneficial for you in the long run I feel like it's definitely speaking to this king of cups I also feel like it's an ending you chose because I have the temperance card here the temperance card represents a balance between emotion and logic so I feel like you were able to 
I don't, I don't totally want to say overcome your emotions, but I feel like you were able to balance them to be able to find um, the insight and the logic to see that this relationship was not working for you and allow you to walk away. The Four of Swords uh, represents a time for healing. I feel like that's what this is for you. This is a time for rest, for rejuvenate, to feed your soul, um, to do some soul searching, to find your clarity, to move in this new direction. The Eight of Wands represents swift change. I feel like your life is going to be changing quite quickly. I feel like it's directly tied into this insight as well in allowing you to, to heal enough to see opportunities around you and to be able to take advantage of them. The Nine of Pentacles represents happiness and abundance. I feel like that's the direction that you are now headed in. The Hierophant speaks of a higher learner, a higher learning. So again, he's echoing that that insight and that clarity. And, and I believe that that is what you're going to use to choose this new path in your life. Uh, the Two of Wands represents choosing a path. I feel like it's a bright new journey forward as the Eight of Cups represents. And leaving the past behind, you can see those cups behind him, the spilt cups. That he's walking away from leaving the past in the past. You're going to be leaving uh, this King of Cups in the past, his destructive force, and all the heartache that went along with it. You're going to be able to leave that in the past and move forward. And you're going to be a hell of a lot stronger for it. I feel like you're going to be a force to be reckoned with here. The Ace of Swords uh, represents... Uh, new beginnings and to me a new life a whole new life finding that fire and that passion for life and and love again and yourself Alrighty, guys that's what the card said to me i hope that you enjoyed the read uh if it resonated with you please feel free to comment because i do love hearing from you guys and feel free to like or subscribe Alrighty, guys take care